As the world spins on its axis, in the hidden chambers of the human heart, a burning question troubles many. Who are we? Why are we here? Where are we going? As the nihilistic ideology of postmodern existentialism has created a vacuum and an empty void, more people are asking these pressing questions and searching for answers, looking for a deeper meaning to life. There is a reason for this. The global financial situation is going totally out of control. Where half of the world's population are living in poverty, and the divide between the rich and the poor is widening more and more each day, which is causing deep tension and resentment all over. of America is not helping. It is creating more tension by glamorizing war through its enticing entertainment industry where vulnerable minds are being stealthily indoctrinated and then recruited to fight selfish wars for mega corporations destroying more and more human lives where its 44th commander-in-chief preaches peace under one breath. But under another he signs a law which is one of the last infringing touches to the capstone to destroy our cherished freedoms which adds more weight to the daily monitoring of our everyday lives. As politicians, religious leaders, think tanks and NGOs come together to resolve the world's problems and as the world spirals out of control, is there any light at the end of the tunnel? The Bible tells us how the world started and prophesies how it will end. It records man's early fall and his restoration at Calvary. It states clearly that the world was made for a divine purpose and that the human body and its intricate network of cells, fibers and nerves were not the result of an accident by random particles but perfectly designed down to the minutest atom by a skillful and an artistic creator. It not only teaches that we should study and learn from nature, but it also records some of the world's empires and their kings in the Orient, in Asia, in Africa, the land of Kush, and in the Occident in Europe where it also forewarns the rise of the last empire and her centuries long preparation for a new world order. As the prophetic clock swiftly winds down, only those who spend time in deep prayer and study will be fully aware of what is going on and will be able to prepare themselves and stand boldly for the final showdown on this planet. I pray you make the right choice.